Hi, I'm Patrick. You're watching the Tesla Trip Show, and today we've got an interview with Alex Guberman of Everything Tesla. He's got a YouTube channel where he does news, he does interviews, he's got tips, all kinds of content every single week, like clockwork. Check it out, Everything Tesla. And we're going to talk a little bit about the differences in living in Wyoming with a Tesla, where like I'm the only Tesla driver for like 100 miles. And then, you know, living in Silicon Valley where there's Teslas everywhere. So everybody welcome Alex. Hey Patrick, how are you doing? Oh, pretty good. How are you doing, Alex? I'm doing okay. Um, well, let's jump right in it. Uh, why don't you tell um, everyone a little bit about your channel and most importantly, what made you start the channel? So my channel is Tesla Trip. Basically, it's my way of being able to talk to people that own Teslas because I live out in the middle of Wyoming, which has got less population than like any other city in the United States and <laughs> not a lot of Teslas. I'm the only one in my town with a Tesla and I did this hacking show on hacking electronics and I did fairly well and it slowly became the Tesla channel and I decided to just do a straight up Tesla channel. So, And you have a Model X, right? Yeah, I had a Model S and now I have a Model X, uh, 90D. Yeah, what do you, what do you think? How, how do, you, do you, do you like one better over the other or? Well, I really like the X. It's like, it seems like it's a lot nicer to ride in, but I think the Model S looks cooler just like driving around, uh, except for when the Model X has its doors open, that, and then, it, then it looks cooler. <laughs> no, I just borrowed someone's Model X the other day for a photo shoot, and, and uh, I, I thought it was super nice compared to my Model S, and I especially like the dance. I even made a video where it can just dance. Uh, with a Christmas uh, Christmas show, so I thought it was pretty cool. I was watching that video. When does the calendar come out? So the calendar is going to come out at the end of the year, uh, but we're still, you know, doing photo shoots and behind the scenes stuff. It's actually coming out every other week or so, depending on how busy my schedule is of other videos, because uh, a lot of videos I do are like, you know, news related. So if something comes out, I just got to jam it in there. But uh, yeah, we're um, we're doing one in another week. Uh, which will be a model, another Model X. So that's, that's going to be another really cool one. So far, we've done a, a, a Roadster and a few Model S cars, of course, but this will be our second Model X. And that's where I experienced driving it. It's, it's amazing. It's just mind-blowing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's so open. You can see everywhere. <laughs> that's what I really like about it. Yeah, no, it, it was really cool. But I know it's, it's funny that we both started the our channels pretty much for the opposite reasons, right? Because I originally didn't really start the channel. I, I started a Facebook group the very first year uh, when the Model S came out. And because everybody really thought, you know, I was an idiot <laughs> buying some electric car, you know, from some brand new company. And, you know, there was nobody to talk to uh, back then. So I started the, uh, the Facebook group and then once uh, maybe like three or four years later, uh, which was last um, November, I figured, oh my God, there are so many now in this community, I should start a YouTube channel. So that's, that's pretty cool. But I'm a, I gotta tell you, I'm a little bit almost envious because I remember when there were very few of us here with, with the Teslas and every time you get to a store or whatever, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, people would gather and ask you about it and take pictures while you were driving. You know, is that something that you're experiencing right now? Yeah, that, that's, I was going to ask you. I mean, what is it like over there in Silicon Valley? Because over here, yeah, everywhere I go, it, people just think it's a normal car until it, the doors open up because it's a Model X. And then they're like, whoa, what is that? Who makes that car? Or, what country does that come from? <laughs> Yeah. And like, no, it's made in Fremont, California. <laughs> I used to carry brochures. I got some brochures from the ser service center. When I ran out of time, I would just pass them out like a sales guy because I didn't always have time. Um, but right, um, right. It's really different now, man. Like, you know, like we used to have the wave, right? Whenever you see somebody in another Tesla used to wave, it was like almost family. And now, man, I haven't had my wave returned in a couple of years, I have to say. And yeah, I mean, I was just driving, you know, to my office today and Tesla here, Tesla there. It's almost like, yeah, everyone's got one. Uh, you know, we have two in a family. So my girlfriend drives one and it's and, and there's another person in our um, in our parking garage that has parks right next to us. It, they are everywhere and which just kind of makes me nostalgic. That's why I'm thinking like, man, Patrick is really having a good time there being pretty much the only person you know, um, 
spreading the word, you know? So I think that's pretty cool. I was just in a car show last weekend and I actually won first place for a modern car, I guess. So just switching topics a little bit, what kind of questions do people ask you, uh, you know, when, when they get to talk to you about the car? How much did it cost? <laughs> it's always one of the first ones. Um, yeah. How far can you drive it? They, ask, they always ask how many miles per gallon it can get, which is silly. <laughs> right, right, yeah. I remember that. How long does it take to charge it up? And, you know, how far yeah. can you go on a charge? So those are actually pretty reasonable questions, uh, except for that one. Because I remember in the beginning, people were just asking this stupid, oh, I mean, I can't blame them, but now they're stupid questions. But at that time, it would be, it would be all kinds of, you know, weird, weird stuff that people would be asking. And um, are people... Are people, do people look at you like, like um, you're sort of driving the future or are they still thinking like, yeah, 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 this is a, just a tree hugging hippie doing his own electric car thing, whatever, it will blow over one day. I think most people, especially kids or younger people, they're really into it. They're like, that's the future. I want a Tesla. They seem to know what the car is. And older people around here especially, have no idea what a Tesla is or an electric car, and the fact that it has no engine just throws them for a loop. They're like, I don't get it. What, what happens when you run out of power? They, they, they just, and they don't think it'll ever work out. They're like, no, that's never going to happen. You, where can you charge it? And they're like, well, I've got charging stations all over the county, actually. <laughs> and they're like, what? And I was like, yeah, you can go charge up at the breadboard where you eat a sandwich, and or you just, just charge it at home most of the time. I remember you mentioned something about that. There were so few charging stations in your area that you actually started a company that installs charging stations because you needed to charge. Is that, t t tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so I was waiting for Tesla and I was handing out uh, destination chargers because it's free, right? I mean, you, if you're a hotel or a restaurant, you can just call up Tesla and be like, hey, I want some charging stations. And they're like, all right, there aren't any in your area, let's give you a few. Um, but people here, they were like, oh, I don't want to pay for the electricity. I don't want to pay for the electrician to put it in. And, you know, I don't want to pay, pay when people are charging at my establishment. It's like, you don't get it. You're attracting people that have these $100,000 cars. They're going to be hanging out at your place, spending money. But they, I li like, I live in the middle of, like, oil and gas country, like coal and everything. And people kind of see more as a threat. <laughs> Which it is. Hey, listen, it is, you know? It, it, it kind of is, yeah, yeah. And we're proud of it. I mean, it is a threat, and, and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get them. Yeah, so I, I had to go in with the sales pitch of more of, like, this is a vending machine. We've got tourists coming through. They're, all the states around us are surrounded by electric cars. People want to get the Yellowstone. We'll put the charger in. We'll give you um, a cut of the money. And you don't have to worry about anything. You just get money for having a charger out there, and people come from miles around to charge. And so that that's working out a little bit better. I'm starting to get quite a few of them out there, and it's it's going to be fun. Are there any superchargers in your area? My nearest supercharger was over 300 miles away for the first few years of owning a Tesla, and they just now this summer started opening some up that are within like driving to without having to charge it like an RV park. So I'm pretty excited. We've got like five of them opening up like in a month here. Okay, well, that's, that's progress. Um, you know, here we're having sort of another supercharger pro problem because, you know, there's so many Teslas and even though they have a few now superchargers in our area, I have four or five in the Bay Area, but they're still so busy where you come in and there's a line and then uh, there is like an attendant there that will take your car from you and you can go and have a meal or whatever, but they will take a car from you, they'll charge it for you, but it will be limited to let's say 30 minutes depending on the wait time. And then they will bring you right back to, to, back to your parking spot. So you only get 30 minutes worth of charging. And then, you know, it's, it's, you have to wait in line, then you have to charge and that can really add up. Yeah, so this is a, I, you know, I already admitted this a few times, I, it's, it pains me to admit this, but when I go to Los Angeles or Sacramento, I actually rent a gas car because of how busy the superchargers are now. They're that busy, huh? Yeah, man, I mean, I, believe me, I mean, I'm sure you know, I would, I hate driving a gas car, right? Oh, yeah. But, you know, like, uh, Sacramento is two hours away, but if you go to the supercharger and then you have to wait, that can almost double my time. 
uh, to get to Sacramento and then back. So yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's the other problem. I'm sure your superchargers, that this, the location will be relatively empty where ours are just so full, it's not even funny. Most of my routes that I travel, like from Wy um, where I'm at in central Wyoming over to Las Vegas, there, there's usually maybe one person and they're usually just like four supercharging stalls, sometimes eight. So they're really pretty empty right now. Um, but I imagine that I, it's going to change here with the Model 3, and especially when the Y comes out, because a lot of people have SUVs around here. But yeah, I can't even imagine the fact that there'd be like, you know, the superchargers all being full. <laughs> the closest to that is in yeah. Vegas. Vegas, sometimes it's, it gets pretty full. Yeah, and wait until the Model 3 really starts, you know, coming out and, and, and you know, they, they get the pr production ramped up. Um, I'm, I don't even know what's going to happen, um, which kind of brings me to the next topic, right? What do you think about Model 3, and do you think you're going to buy one? So I do. I have a pre-order on a Model 3, so I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way to get one. <laughs> like, I already, I can get it as soon as October. Oh, you're going to double the number of Teslas in Wyoming. <laughs> right? Really, yeah. Huh? I have a Chevy Volt, and that's what my wife drives right now, and the plan was... I thought it was still going to be another year or two before Tesla really got to making them and they got out to the point where we could get them in Wyoming. Because Elon has, had explained originally that they were only going to go to Tesla workers first and then California and then they'd work their way out across the United States. And I thought there's no way they'd actually deliver them in July. You know, it'd probably be the last day of the year. And sure enough, they're delivering them now and they're going to be making them in mass quantities here in like October. So... I gotta yep. hurry up my plans. <laughs> Surprise! I thought it was the same thing, and um, but you know um, the the the, the toss-up decision here for me is because you know I have I have two Model S cars that are you know the leases don't expire until the next year, but you know the incentives, the rebates uh, are going to start expiring uh, basically probably starting next year. So I don't really know what to do about it. Um, well, we'll we'll see, but I'm. I'm surprised that you can get one over there uh, so soon. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if it isn't because I actually made the reservation at the event, and I'm a Tesla owner, <laughs> at the unveiling event, if they kind of put me a little bit higher on the list. We'll, we'll see. You're going to be coming out here in a few weeks, right, for another tour. Yeah, I'm going to come down the beginning of September and uh, check out the factory, see how it's changed. Last time I went was a couple years ago, and... I wanted to see it again. I get another chance to take a look at it because I got a Model X and they said to come check out the factory again. <laughs> yeah, and you're probably going to be one of the first people to actually see the Model 3 line, which is actually, I have never seen. Uh, last time I took a tour was a year and a half ago. So that that's probably going to be a treat. Hopefully you can uh, come back and tell us more about that. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to let you guys know what, what it's like in there. Um, whatever I'm allowed to say, I guess, because... You know, they do the whole NDA thing. <laughs> they, they, yeah, I remember the first time, you know, now there are cars that you, you know, drive around. But in the beginning, the first like half a year, we were walking around, getting really close to everything. They didn't really have the security very tight. It was, it was pretty cool. But now they, it's, it's all very tight and there's a bigger territory to cover. So that definitely changed. So I'm, I can't wait to see what your experience is going to be like. Uh, with with the tour with the Model 3 line actually going full force hopefully by then. Yeah, because it's gonna their production capacity is gonna be about three times what it was I think when I went over there. They're making about a thousand cars a week when I went, and they're making what like four. Well, when the Model 3s going like maybe five thousand a week between the S, the X, and the yep. three. Yep. Yeah. So it's going to be humming. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm excited for you. Well, cool, man. Listen, it was definitely great catching up with you. I, I, hopefully we can chat once again once you're here. So we're not going to do it sort of uh, this way uh, from two different states. Hopefully we can do it in person. Thanks so much for, uh, for chatting with me. This was fun. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Thank, thanks for, um, for calling up and getting to chat. And we got a little bit of a perspective of like, you know, Silicon Valley versus, you know, rural Wyoming. And it's cool absolutely absolutely all right man well i will see you here when you are in california sounds good see you then all right man take it easy thank you alex for uh, inviting me on your show and letting me have you on my show and it was kind of a fun little collab and i enjoyed talking with you and i hope to see you again here when i come down to silicon valley to do the factory tour in a month if you got any questions for alex put them in the comments below or you know on his channel on the 
my video on his channel. <laughs> and, you know, boy, it just, this is, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> Please subscribe if you like these videos and both to Alex's Everything Tesla channel, my channel, Tesla Trip, and be sure to check the notifications so you know when videos are coming out. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.